Today's video is brought to us by ButcherBox. More on them later in the video. I'm sharing four favorite salad entrees in today's What's For Dinner video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. So the theme for today's What's For Dinner video is salad entrees. These are very hearty and filling salads and all four of them are knockouts. They're so good. <laughs> so today we're making a barbecue chicken salad, a California chicken citrus salad, a Chinese chicken salad, and a classic salmon salad. So let's begin. I'm going to begin by preparing the meat. Now, because I made these salads all in one week <laughs> for this video, I prepared all the meat at once. This is a really good strategy anyway if you are meal planning for the week. So I'm taking some chicken breast here and I'm grilling it on the stove. This chicken breast is from the butcher box, which you will see later on in the video. So I prepare the chicken breast and this is for the salads for the whole week. I simply place the chicken breast on the La Crescette grill pan with some oil, salt and pepper until it's grilled and fully cooked on both sides. Once I do that, I let it cool. And I, I think I made the barbecue chicken salad right after this, so I use one of them for the salad. The rest of them I put in the refrigerator for the rest of the week and they keep really well. Let's start off with the barbecue chicken salad, which is a favorite salad here in America. I feel like you see it on a lot of menus, especially out west here, and it's delicious. I love it. So you're going to start off with your preferred lettuce leaves. You could have bagged lettuce, grow your own lettuce, whatever you like. And then to this, I add some black beans, some corn, some sliced olives, and cherry tomatoes. Then I top this with shredded carrot, and then I add the chopped chicken, the one that I just cooked. So you could either chop it or you could leave it in long strips, whatever you prefer. On top of this, I'm adding some chopped red onions and then my favorite combination of green onions and cilantro. Then I'm going to add some creamy avocado and mix all of this together. I put this in a smaller clear bowl so you could see the ingredients as they went in, but there was so much salad here that I had to transfer this to my big red bowl. <laughs> so I'm doing that right now and tossing everything together. Now, when you make your salad, you could either put the dressing on the whole salad if everybody's going to eat it right away, or if you're going to be eating it at different times, just portion out your own individual portion, which is what I'm doing here, and put the dressing on that so the whole thing doesn't go soggy. So I'm putting my own portion back into this bowl. And to this, I'm adding ranch dressing. Now you can make your own ranch dressing, but I really like this one. It's from Yo Mama's. I like this and their sesame dressing, which you'll see later. So I'm adding this here and mix that all together. Now you also have the option to add your barbecue sauce here and mix it all together, or you can add it drizzled on top of your salad, which is what I chose to do. So I plate my salad on those gorgeous spode blue Italian plates, and then I'm adding my barbecue sauce. Now this went wrong. <laughs> You need one of those squeeze things where it comes out thinly because it just came out in clumps. So I ended up mixing it all back up together, but you can see my bloopers in this video as well, I guess. <laughs> but the barbecue combined with the ranch and the chicken just make this so delicious. On top, an absolute must is to add tortilla strips. You can find these in the salad topping section or you can make your own or cut your own. And then I squeeze lime juice on top and add lime wedges to the side. And this is a beautiful salad. It's so delicious. I love barbecue chicken salads. I really do. Okay, this next salad, the California chicken citrus salad is chef's kiss. It is so good, <laughs> okay? My daughters and I especially love this salad and it combines all the flavors of California, so it's near to my heart. But first we're going to start off by making our own dressing. We're going to make a honey lime vinaigrette. That's so good and really easy. 
So I take some lime juice, and of course I will have the principal recipe on my corresponding blog post linked down below. But I take lime juice, honey, some sugar, some gray poupon, garlic powder, cumin, salt, and pepper, and the best olive oil you can find, which for me is the Graeber Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And I mix that all together along with some apple cider vinegar with the mother, and I whisk this together. And you can taste it to see if it needs any adjusting, but this dressing is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So now for the salad. I'm taking out one of the chicken breasts that I had previously cooked and refrigerated, and I'm chopping it into little cubes here. Then I'm going to take my lettuce and put it in a bowl and add on top of that the chicken, some chopped red onion, chopped green apple, and a chopped up orange, so this contributes to the citrus. If you don't have fresh orange where you are, you could use canned mandarin oranges that are drained. Now, of course, I'm adding whole avocado, and I like to score it like that and then scoop it out. That's what I do with mangoes, too. Next, I add some green onion and some gorgonzola blue cheese. I'm also adding some dried cranberries and glazed walnuts for sweetness and crunch. So you can already tell the salad is going to be absolutely delicious, but now wait until we add the dressing. <laughs> so of course I transfer this to the bigger bowl so I could properly toss it together, and then I add the dressing on top. I didn't use all of the dressing, that was probably about three quarters of what I made, but I did put that in this salad because it's rather big. And I toss it all together. And this is the salad. This salad is so good. You have got to try this salad. I then top it with a few Parmesan crisps, and then I also put some more sliced oranges on top to indicate what is in the salad. But this is one of my favorite salads. The dressing is so refreshing, and then the taste of the oranges with the avocados is absolutely delightful. I'm going to break away for one minute to tell you about ButcherBox, who have kindly brought us today's video. So ButcherBox is a subscription service that delivers high quality meat to your home each month, and they have a special deal for the Daily Connoisseur audience. New members will receive two pounds of grass-fed ground beef for the lifetime of their membership. ButcherBox offer 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, and wild-caught seafood at unbeatable value. They offer five boxes four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box, which is what I got. So this time I chose wild caught Alaska cod, boneless skinless chicken breast, wild caught Alaska salmon, which you're going to see me use in the last recipe, wild caught sea scallops, applewood smoked uncured bacon, butcher box ground turkey, and of course the free ground beef. Butcher box ships your order from frozen at the peak of freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. So don't forget to click on the link below to receive two pounds of ground beef for the lifetime of your membership. Thank you so much to ButcherBox for bringing us today's video. And now back to the salads. Okay, we're going to make a Chinese chicken salad, which is a classic. I don't know if this is popular in other parts of the world, but in California, Chinese chicken salad is everything and it's at every restaurant. So <laughs> I'm going to make an individual portion here because I just made this for my lunch. 
And I'll start off by showing you our Aero Garden. It's the countertop herb and vegetable grower. It actually grows whatever you want. So some people are confused. They think it only grows herbs. It grows whatever. It even grows flowers or tomatoes. Ben gave this to me for my birthday and I absolutely love it. It, it really grows things amazingly. So I tried lettuce this time and this is what you're seeing here. You have lettuce and you can just pick your lettuce for your salad and eat it. It's so amazing. It's fresh. I love it so much. So I'm going to use this lettuce for my Chinese chicken salad. I'm going to take the chicken again from the refrigerator and chop it up. This time I'm not chopping it into cubes. I'm going to leave it into larger chunks and you'll see why later. Now I'm taking the salad from the Aero Garden and I'm ripping it up and placing it in my bowl. And on top of that, I'm placing shredded carrot. Now, if you're making this for the whole family, just add more of everything, but I'm making this for myself so there's smaller portions here. And now I am adding green onion and cilantro, <laughs> shocker. And now I'm adding mandarin oranges. For me, it's not a Chinese chicken salad if there's not mandarin oranges in it, so I'm adding those and some wonton strips. So you can find this at your grocery store in the salad topper section. I have tried to make my own sesame style dressing. It's never that good. So this one is delicious. It's from Yo Mama's. I'll leave it linked down below. I buy them by like the crate <laughs> because I go through this so much. But this sesame dressing is so good. I can't do better than that. So now I toss it with some sesame dressing. So that's it. I sprinkle some sesame seeds on top at the very end, but I plate this and I put the salad down and then I'm holding it up, so to speak, with the chicken. And to make it look nice, I put a little more toppings on top with the shredded carrot and the wontons. And this salad is so flavorful and delicious. I love a Chinese chicken salad. It just tastes so refreshing to me. It's, it's really good. Now let's make an old school classic. This is a fancy salmon salad. So to start, I'm taking some salmon from the butcher box. I'm just taking three small fillets here because I'm not making too much of the salad. But if you were to use canned salmon, I know some people do that if you don't have fresh salmon on hand, this would probably be about two cans worth. So I just roast the salmon the night before in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like the next day and I take the salmon and I flake it off the skin. And then I put it into my bowl. And I really like using fresh salmon for these recipes, so I do recommend you do that if you're able to. To the salmon, I'm adding chopped celery and an unusual ingredient, some chopped dates. But I like to add a little bit of sweetness to everything, but you don't have to add dates if you don't have them. Next, I'm adding some chopped green onions and some chopped dill. And the dill goes really nicely with the fish. I then squeeze lemon juice on top of everything, and then I add some mayonnaise. Then it's time to season it. And you can either season this with something like seasonal, which is what I used here, or you could use Old Bay seasoning or lemon pepper, anything would be good with this. So as long as you have a bit of seasoning in it. Then you mix it all together and taste it, make sure it's right. You don't need to adjust the seasonings. And that is it. So this is how I plate it because of course how we plate things is very important. And it's hard to make salads look good. You couldn't just plop this on a plate because it wouldn't look very nice. So what I do is I take some lettuce leaves and these are from the Aero Garden. And then I take this little ramekin here and I fill it with the salmon salad. And then I turn it upside down and it has that nice dome shape to it. And then I adorn the salad with chopped grapes because I love to add fruit with my salads. And that's it. Doesn't this look like a cute little vintage salad from like the 1950s or something? <laughs> So salmon salad, very good for you, very tasty, and an absolute classic. I hope you enjoyed this what's for dinner video with salad entrees. I would love to know what your favorite salad entree is. Let us know in the comments section down below. And thank you to ButcherBox for bringing us today's video. Don't forget to click my link below and you can get two pounds of ground beef for free for the lifetime of your membership. Thank you for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.